Today we are going to talk about the AeroPress Coffee Brewer. So we have a few pieces of the AeroPress. It all comes in this nice little thing. This is the first pro of this product. Since it's made out of plastic, this is virtually indestructible. I took this on a trip with me. I was traveling for six weeks, threw this in my suitcase, used this in my hotel, and this got me through it. As you guys know, I do not like pure eggs, so this was a lifesaver for me, for me to get my coffee while I was traveling for six weeks. So, first thing out of the container, out of our little bundle, we have this container for your filters. Out of the box, it comes with several filters. Then we have the plunger, the plunger, the brew chamber, and the basket. We have our stirrer and our scoop. And it all comes in a little cup. So this cup brings me to my first con of this product. Although this fits on top of here for you to brew, it's not really compatible with other cups. So whenever I was traveling, I encountered this problem because you want to have your stuff in like a coffee thermos or in a, um, just like a normal coffee mug. This doesn't really fit. But you can always brew it in here and then pour it into whatever cup you want. These are already in the grinder. You want them medium to fine. Thank you, Bone, as a sandy consistency. Now that our coffee's ground, we need to set up the AeroPress. We have our plunger, brew chamber, and cup. Scooper, stir stick, right? So, we're going to take one filter, put the filter in the basket, and we're going to preheat it. I have this water heated to 200 degrees Fahrenheit. Just preheat the brew chamber. It comes with a scooper, so you don't have to worry about measuring. Whenever I was in my hotel, I didn't have a scale. I didn't have anything like that to help me. We have one scoop. Put that in. For me, the AeroPress shines whenever you're on the road. At home, you can go very fancy with this, but why would you do that with a $30 brewer? Single cup brewer, you're not going to get a lot of coffee out of it. It's made out of plastic. So then we have our gooseneck brewer, 200 degrees. Fill this up till it reaches number three. Okay. We're gonna set our timer. We're gonna let this brew for one minute and 15 seconds. Time to plunge. So slow and steady wins the race. That sound is how you know that it's done brewing. We have a delicious cup of coffee. Now, my favorite part of the whole process is cleaning this out. Some people will travel with a French press, very difficult to clean out. Aero presses are very easy to clean and I think they're really fun to clean. So, being careful not to burn yourself. Cheers.